this is the White House pub where in my last video I had my lunch. It's the last few days of November and as you can see it's been snowing up here in West Yorkshire. And it's, I think it's 10 o'clock in the morning. I've got quite a few miles to go before it gets dark. It's extremely cold out. Just a, a degree or two above freezing. And I'm currently walking past Blackstone Edge Reservoir. So I'm following the the road that the water board uses. So it's quite an easy start. And then if you look in the distance you can see Rochdale. I've been walking for a short while and I've made it to Little Hazel's Reservoir and some way to Wallen Reservoir. It's still pretty cold but it's very very still. I've felt a few little flakes of snow fall on me but nothing to get concerned about yet. And now I've got walking my body temperature has warmed a lot so I'm having no trouble like that. So I'm still kind of in a race against darkness so I'll be cutting it pretty fine. Um, only had around five to six hours of light when I set off so hopefully I'll make it to where I need to go. This is Wallen Reservoir. It was built to um, provide water for the Vorstel Canal which opened in 1804 and further down there it goes to Wallen Drain which takes the water to the Vorstel Canal. This section by Wallen Drain it's actually turned out to be very, very tough because I'm sinking whenever I put my foot in. It's very energy consuming to walk like this when you lose your foot all the time and you're struggling to pull them out. I'm making decent progress. If I can keep up this pace, I should be back at my car before it gets too dark. But I know there's quite a tough climb near Hebden Bridge, so we'll see how I take that. See some you can see some sheep being herded by a farmer. Coming towards me. Can you see the sheepdog coming up behind them? There they go. This is Studley Pike Monument. It was built um, to mark Napoleon's exile to St. Elba. It's about 125 foot tall, but this wasn't the original tower. The original one collapsed in um, 1854, and this one was rebuilt just in time for the Crimean War to finish. Apparently you can get up it, so I'm going to look to see if I can find the door. Well, I've made my way down off Studley Pike and now I'm walking through a bit of farmland. It's a lot clearer than up top and it looks like the rest of the mist is fading away. So hopefully I should have a much clearer day now.
This is the Rochdale Canal in the Calder Valley. This is an area that in the 1800s and so was probably full of activity because the Industrial Revolution was taking place and West Yorkshire was one of the places it happened quite intensively. If that's Rochdale Canal, I believe just over here is the Calder River as well as what looks like some water treatment works around here. Yeah. We've just been having some flooding in the northwest of the country, so a lot of the rivers are going to be quite high. And here is River Calder, or Calder River. Looks like it's flowing quite fast. Hey there turkeys. I've got some bad news about what's going to happen to you at Christmas. I'm sorry. I've had quite a big climb out of the valley. I was quite dreading it to be honest but it turned out to be much easier than what I remembered it. It was from nine years ago. And the small little graveyard from the 1800s up here, side of the valley. And by this little waterfall going down to the valley after climbing up this stone building here is actually a toilet where the water was carried all the way down no I don't think it's used for that anymore So now the end of today is in sight. I can just faintly make out where I've parked my car. You see the white building there? That's a pub called the Pack Horse. And when I was on the Appalachian Trail, my nickname, or my trail name, was the Pack Horse. So it's nice to see a pub called that. I remember um, nine years ago stopping here and having to wring my socks out. Luckily, it's been a much drier day can see where two rivers meet, um, grains water and reaps water. Got to cross down a footbridge and then just head up to my car. And I've only got about an hour 15 daylight left. So I'm going to make it just in time. This is Gorpal Lower Reservoir. I'm crossing here because one of the footbridges further downstream was out. I'm almost back at my car. Hopefully no more, no more than 30 minutes. I can start heading home. See it's starting to go a little bit dark. But I've still got plenty of time to get there. I'm moments away from reaching my car and finishing another day section hike in the Pennine Way. Um, this section of the way has been pretty nice. I saw a lot more industry today. I know the sections up ahead where it becomes more remote again. Like this last section I've just crossed in the moors. Alright. There's my car near the gate, so it's time for me to go.